Good evening, everybody. We're back for Compline once again. We had moved to seven here instead of eight, hoping this would be more family friendly, and I hope that's worked for you. Uh, it has clearly not worked for us because both my girls are in bed already, uh, but that is okay. They are getting their rest, and that is the most important thing right now. But I'm here with you, and you are here with me, and we are doing Compline. Page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, in word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> I have here our gospel for this Holy Tuesday as we continue this journey through Holy Week towards our Easter Sunday. A reading from John. There were some Greek people, too, who came to Jerusalem to worship at the Passover feast. They went to Philip. Philip was from Bethsaida in Galilee. They said, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip told Andrew, then Andrew and Philip told Jesus. Jesus said to them, The time has come for the Son of Man to receive his glory. I tell you the truth. A grain of wheat must fall to the ground and die. Then it makes many seeds. But if it never dies, it remains only a single seed. The person who loves his life will give up the true life. But the person who hates his life in this world will keep true life forever. Whoever serves me must follow me. Then my servant will be with me everywhere I am. My father will honor anyone who serves me. Now I am very troubled. What should I say? Should I say, Father, save me from this time? No, I came to this time so that I could suffer. Father, bring glory to your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have brought glory to it and I will do it again. The crowd standing there heard the voice. They said it was thunder, but others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus said that voice was for you, not for me. Now is the time for the world to be judged. Now the rule of this world will be thrown down. I will be lifted from the earth. And with this happens, I will draw all people toward me. Jesus said this to show how he would die. The crowd said, we have heard from the law that Christ will live forever. So why do you say the son of man must be lifted up? Who is this son of man? Then Jesus said, The light will be with you for a little longer. So walk while you have the light, then the darkness will not catch you. He who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. So believe in the light while you still have it. Then you will become sons of light. When Jesus has said this, he left and hid himself from them. The word of the Lord. Continuing on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us from the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I bid your prayers at this time. Tonight on our prayer list, we pray for Jurger, Grace, Libby, Chris and Laura Powers, Lola, Mike Rickles and family, Arthur, Marin Reed, Charlotte Charlo Charles, Tom Christian, Bob Myers, Carolyn, Adam, and Diane Robertson. God is waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you know I have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of the people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. I hope you all had a wonderful day, and I hope you have a peaceful evening. And we will see you tomorrow for Wednesday of Holy Week. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy, stay loving.